All right, hi everybody. Welcome back again. Uh, Ryan here. So it's been a little while. <laughs> so we've been really busy. A lot of uh, big events happening here. Uh, so first of all, if you're looking for my truck, uh, looking to buy it, it's no longer on the market. It's sold. Uh, it's left the building, left the property uh, here a week ago, last Tuesday. No, last it left a week ago tomorrow. It left last Tuesday. So anyway, so. Um, so we did uh, okay on that. Uh, had to put an oil paint on it. Uh, like I said, the thing's been sitting here since was sitting here since June. Uh, oil paint was a little bit rusted. I never had an issue with it on the road, but I guess because it sat here, things started rusting. So um, I had ordered one from Rainey's, and it never came in. So I ended up having to go down to Kenworth and buy one, and that was a whole big debacle and all that. And had to change it out uh, the day that the guy was uh, here to pick it up. So um, so it's gone, uh, and it. it uh, Helped us out a lot because like all of our, the truck was paid for, um, you know, so it was kind of our savings account basically, which uh, allowed us uh, with the sale of that to pay off a lot of other stuff that we, you know, uh, put into the new business here, the maintenance business, um, and also a little bit to put towards building our new shop. So uh, we're, we're glad that's kind of off our backs and uh, takes a lot of pressure off of other things. So it's a big relief to, to see that guy gone. So. Um, good luck to Matt and his family uh, uh, with, with uh, starting his owner-operator experience, and I think he's got a good truck. Uh, uh, been doing a lot of little up, upgrades and stuff like that with it. Been sending me pictures, so uh, so it's, it's uh, I hate to see it go. Um, you don't uh, the T660s. You're not seeing as many of them out there for sale anymore and all that. But uh, I really, me and the truck. Uh, the truck and I, we've had a uh, lot of lot of experiences together. Been all over the country, all over Canada, and and uh, you know through thick and thin type of things. So uh, it's sad to see it go, but uh, kind of one of those things where you know it's moving on to the next phase of life. So um, so like I said, uh, truck's gone. That's it. So <laughs> as far as that is. Uh, so on with everything else that's been going on, like, uh, so I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, also with kind of letting things go, I know the last video I did, which probably a lot of you weren't really interested in, um, you know, I kind of scaled back drastically our farming, uh, operation, you know, game, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, uh, I took a bunch of my equipment down to a consignment sale and it was a bloodbath. I mean, <laughs> I've seen a lot of stuff I bought out at the same place. I've paid twice as much for it. It's, you know, and the stuff like, I don't know, like equipment facts, uh, truck paper and all that. They got hacked that same week that they had the sale. So um, we lost all those online bidders. I don't know if that was a part of it or um, if the market's cooling off or what. But I, I just couldn't. I watched a couple items sell online and I just had to shut it off because it was, it was uh, very disappointing to see stuff, you know, you bought. For twice as much of that, brought home, put work into, and you know, brought up the standards, fixed everything, and 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 see it sell for half of what you paid for it. So it was pretty disappointing. Like I was stuff that I brought out there, I was hoping to see like fifteen thousand dollars, and and I barely broke. I didn't even hit seven thousand on the stuff that I. And I actually brought one of my one of my tractors back home because it just sold too cheap for what it would uh, for what it brought. I, I said I'll just let it sit in the shop here. It can sit here in the corner for <laughs> for what they wanted to give me for it. So uh, it's it's means a little bit more than that to me. So uh, so we've basically liquidated a bunch of stuff around here and uh, putting it into the business. Uh, so we got poured concrete in the shop here. Uh, the small shop here at the farm, um, which isn't for business use. I mean, I'm kind of running, you know, got my oil and stuff back here and all that and, and all that uh, in here. So we're kind of running out of here, but not for um, for commercial use. So we're uh, working on the other property, which uh, since we bought that, I haven't done anything down there. So hopefully this week I've kind of taken a week off to get the uh, the engine and the, uh, the E450 here and get this guy, uh, get out of that F350 before winter because it's just not practical <laughs> for for outdoor use so this is going to be a lot better setup we've uh, bought a lot more tools uh, a lot more equipment specialty tools and all that uh, so like i said a lot of things happening so um, in a nutshell like i said it's been i don't know, I think it's probably been two two three weeks since we've done the video so it's just been crazy and uh and on top of that uh 
we've picked up a lot more business. I mean, basically, I've had work every day. I mean, and, and uh, YouTube YouTube subscribers, so I appreciate all you guys calling out there. So I've uh, uh, been kind of doing some work off-site and all that with you guys uh, and, and you know, doing what we can. Uh, picked up a couple uh, local customers uh, with construction companies and stuff like that uh, that have, have it's just kind of taken off like wildfire. So, I mean, I could basically, there's a couple guys that I could work for every day of the week if I wanted to at this point. Um, but, uh, you know, trying to, like I said, we had to need to take a week off just to kind of to catch our breath here and, and uh, do some house cleaning, basically, get some other jobs around here caught up. So... Um, like I said, I did do concrete in here and a couple other projects, did 20 yards of concrete in one day, finished it myself, which I don't ever recommend anybody do, ever. <laughs> you will barely be able to walk the next day for one thing, and two, uh, it will start setting up. <laughs> As, like, behind our house, I did like a, uh, an 11 by 20 foot uh, pad behind the house there. And uh, it it, uh, it started getting hard before I could get to it and even like level it off. So it uh, didn't turn out as great as I wanted to, but uh, it's better than what it was, was before. So, but uh, anyways, guys. Uh, so I'll show you what I got going on here with the uh, the Ford, the the uh, E450 van, the U-Haul truck that we bought. Um, got the new engine for it. It's been here for a while. I think it's been here for like six, seven weeks now. Uh, but like I said, I've been so busy with with other people working on everybody else's stuff. I haven't been able to. To, to get this guy done but now it's kind of come coming into the winter months and all that and uh, we need to get this guy on the road and plus if you live in the state of Ohio you know commercial plates expire on October 31st so I don't want to renew the plates on the other one so I'd rather get this one running and put plates on this and sell the other truck so if anybody's looking for an E3 or sorry an F350 6.4 diesel utility truck uh, have one on the market here soon as well so but anyways, I'll kind of show you what I got going on here with the, uh, the E450 and uh, go from there. All right, so we bought a lot bigger air compressor here. I um, got this from Harbor Freight. The prices have went up on these things substantially because I can remember when this model was like $1,100 or something. And I, th I paid almost $1,700, I think. I think it was $1,699. But they did add electric start and all that stuff and fixed a lot of those uh, problems that they had on the past ones. So, I mean, the reviews on these have been pretty high. So, uh, and also with that, I bought a hose reel to put in here, and I um, actually bought a new Ingersoll one-inch impact uh, with the, um, and I bought all three-quarter inch hose with Chicago fittings, so a lot bigger hose, a lot better airflow and all that good stuff. So, um, just trying to streamline everything and make things, kind of tailor everything to what we do and make things more efficient. Because uh, like I said, right now, working out with my F-350 and all that, I mean, everything's just not organized the way that I wanted so I mean I haven't even been charging I've been taking like 15% off basically my hours during the day because it just I don't feel right charging a customer for that um, when we're not really set up uh, the way that I want to be to work as, as efficiently as possible so uh, like I said we've been putting a lot of money into this uh, so I think it's it's gonna be really nice when we get it all set up so I, I, I don't know we bought that I bought a 72 inch toolbox in here which we're going to put it up in the front, then have the air compressor, welder, uh, then storage, and we put a little bench in here and all that. And it's kind of dark in here, so sorry about that, but we do the best we can. So, but once we get it all set up, hopefully here at the end of the week, um, we'll have a new video with, with uh, you know, the ideal mobile shop on wheels, I guess. Uh, so, that's that. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it uh, for now. That's... For the, like I said, the most part of what we got going on around here right now. Uh, so I just want to say thanks, everybody, uh, all the viewers and subscribers and all that. Uh, like I said, this, this wouldn't be possible, this transition that we've made coming out of trucking. Um, you know, I've talked about it before, like my handicap, I guess you could say. Like, I can't drive anymore. I've just had, I love trucking. I love the business. I like trucks uh, and everything about it. But like I said, the, as far as driving on the road anymore, I mean, it, it's just... I'm over it. I mean, it's just, I don't know. It is what it is. So I've talked about that in other videos, so I won't elaborate. If you're interested, you can look at some of the other ones, but uh, I'm not going to go ahead and get into all that. But uh, anyways, uh, so like I said, I appreciate everybody that's uh, that's that's called us for, for work or people that's came out and, uh, you know, from I've had people from New York and uh, all over the country. Uh, you know, I got guys that drive from down like down by Cincinnati area, come up here to the Akron area and have me work on their trucks. Columbus, 
Um, so I, I just really appreciate all that uh, that uh, that support because it, it, you know this. I never would have, without YouTube. That's kind of what gave me. I don't know why I didn't get into buying my own service truck and all that when when I left Ohio Cat and and other places that I worked at. I mean, just something was never was there. I mean, I've worked for a lot of different shops and all that, and uh, I don't know. There's always this this itch or something that 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 just didn't work out. I just didn't like like being there or, you know, like in, and whenever I quit someplace, you know, my employers were, they get mad at you, at me. I mean, they're like, why are you leaving? And uh, just something was always missing. So now I feel with uh, out working for customers um, and being a business owner, you know, direct business to business, um, it, it just kind of feel, fills that, um, that void, I guess. Um, that was missing when I was a company mechanic and all that where now I'm kind of building something of my own um, Building something for our our family and all that. So it's just uh, You know, it's it's uh, It's limitless I guess you could say I mean, um, I mean now we're, we're putting up the shop and all that so uh, probably tentatively looking at hopefully May or June have that up and running because we're coming into the winter months here in Northeast Ohio um, so kind of kind of coming out of the building season, so we kind of got a little bit late start on that. So we won't probably have that up as soon as I was hoping to. Um, but then once we get that up, I'm probably going to be looking at adding on, uh, bringing another person on as a uh, trainee or something, looking to probably get somebody younger and all that to, to bring up uh, the way that I like. So uh, so that's uh, in the cards as well. So anyways, guys, uh, long story short, I just want to say I appreciate all the support and all that. Um, if you're if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, uh, hit the bell for the updates, like the video and all that. And um, like I said, this is just kind of an update of everything going on around here. Uh, we got more uh, hands-on videos, how-to videos, and all that type of stuff coming up, coming down the the pipeline here. It's just uh, kind of a lot of moving parts here. The last so we can get everything set up. So like I said, I want to get this guy together, get her on the road, and um, then we can kind of relax a little bit and be a lot more organized and efficient. Where I can start putting those good videos out again so anyways guys uh again thanks for all the support um and you know comment and all that if you're interested in our business you need work uh you know we always put all of our information in the uh, description below so check that out uh, but anyways guys i'll shut up and get off here and uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching